I'm here in Burj Hamoud School in uh, Beirut, Lebanon, and uh, this is one of the poorest neighborhoods that has gone through tremendous upheaval. I'm here in a classroom uh, full of Syrian children. Uh, we just had a discussion, and they told me that uh, they like it here. They told me that uh, it's very much like uh, Syria. The thing that they miss the most, they say, is their homes. Uh, they're learning, but the, si the system here in Beirut and in Lebanon is under enormous stress. It is really uh, uh, inspirational to watch how the Lebanese people have opened up their doors and brought children like these children into the school. But Lebanon needs help. Uh, right now there are uh, so many people who need so many services and there's just not enough uh, uh, literally cash uh, to support. Now you know uh, I have worked in so many places, in so many very difficult places, where money alone is not the solution to the problem. You need infrastructure, you need skilled uh, 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 staff, you need uh, educated people. Lebanon has all those things. It has infrastructure, it has people who can provide services. Their ability to really open up their classrooms and accept so many Syrian children is a testament to uh, just the uh, uh, enormous amount of capacity that exists in this country. They need our help, they need our help right now. We need to find uh, uh, the, uh, the resources to support the infrastructure and the skilled people that are already here. We can make a huge difference in this country. We really have to get serious about supporting Lebanon right now.